Hello, whoever found this video. My name is TJ from Christopher Jewel Design, and I'm recording this because I needed to know how to do it, and there was nowhere to find it. So I figured I would, you know, share what I've learned, and um, hopefully it helps somebody else. So what we're working on in this particular setup right now is a sort of a flip box function, but it's two things. So what we've got is not necessarily a flip box, but it fades in and out based off of the hover animation, which is very nice. And then you can't see it. I'll have to pull it up on my phone because I don't totally know what I'm doing, but down here at the camera, we can see that on click, it's the same functionality, although it's loading really slowly right now which is a Wi-Fi issue, not a site load issue, but nonetheless. So why don't we kind of just take a look. So in order to keep this brief, um, and for the fact that it's unlikely to be viewed by too many people, um, I just would rather break down what's going on than build it out. And if there are people that are seeing this right now and you want to see me build it, send me a message or drop a comment or something and I'll, um, I'll reach out directly and help you out if I can, because I'd, I'd love to help when possible. So let's take a look inside of this section. So what we want to build is a flip box that is also based off of our collection list. So now my internet's gotten slow, which is a huge, okay, that should be running a little bit smoother. Thank you. And so anyway, what I was saying, the collection list is what is building this whole section out. So if you're building it fresh from scratch, from scratch right now, um, you can have it, you know, obviously you've got your section. And if you want to have it in the container, you can, um, it's up to you. I set them up differently sometimes, but nonetheless, you're going to probably want to style it within a div block. So create a div and then you'll drop your collection list wrapper inside of there. And maybe I should just build it out. No, I won't. And if this gets viewed, I'll, I'll be quick to respond to anybody who needs help. But here's what's going on that just isn't normal. So all of this stuff is normal as far as a collection list. And then let's get into the collection item and I'll drag this out so you can see it a little better. So inside the collection item, let's just take a look at everything that we have inside of here. And this stuff I won't get into too much. There's two different variations based on the background and maybe I'll talk about it a little bit, but the collection item has a profile image one that is being populated and you can check the settings and stuff as I click through, but um, our height set, the width is maximized and it's all set up on this uh, column styling inside the wrapper. So if I go back to just the main wrapper here, so we've got a four column styling and then obviously that goes into a uh, one column for mobile. And then I created another div that's also inside the collection item here that is called, goodness gracious. Man, it's getting really slow on me. Okay, hopefully this rides through. But anyway, as I was saying, the bio div inside of here, which is invisible right now, why don't we open that up and just take a look at what it looks like when it's active. So I've sized this div to be the same as the profile image. And in my situation, that's uniquely custom to each um, variation here. Uh, it's different It's different widths and sizing and stuff. So I'll trust that you can size to match whatever image you're going for. So these this div is matching the profile image as far as the dimensions. And then inside of this, I've got another div that's got all my text that's being populated from our uh, collection list. So that's all pretty simple, just to create this little div here. And if you're wondering how I set up light and dark text, it's set through a trigger. And I'll very, very, very quickly look at this, just for anybody who might be wondering. Um, but on Connie's, for example, when I open her up, I've got a switch that I set up, and it's a reverse type color switch. And I turn that on. And then when that is turned on in different sections, this whole div here, the whole light text div, has a conditional visibility on it. And that condition is that the reverse type color is set to on. And then the condition for the dark div, so for example, Connie also has a dark div. Um, and let's just open one of those for example. So this dark div, 
if I had it set, or I'll just delete this so you can see. So there's a dark div on all of them down here for Connie. And then I set a condition on that dark div that when the reverse type color is off, it's visible. So that's how that's set up. Anyway, so we've got our bio div with all our stuff inside of it, and then you've got my another div with my text. Okay, so let's talk about the interaction. It really is very simple. Um, all we're doing is I base it off my collection item hover, and that's where my trigger is. You could do it probably on the profile image. No, you, this is the right place to do it. Do it on a collection item. And then let's take a look at the actual interactions that I have set. So this is the first interaction, which is exclusive to desktop because you can't hover on mobile. So inside I have team bio up here on hover. So in case you're not following this here, I'll just close it out. It's an element trigger, create a new one. Now it's hover. So when you go to create a new one, take the mouse hover option. And then I'll open up the on hover first, and then we'll look at the on hover, or sorry, on hover and off hover is how I like to think about it. So on hover, you can take a look how this is set up. So I'll click through them. There's two things going on. The bio div is set to not show or to hide on or as an initial state. Okay, so these are all initial states, but bio div is set to hide on initial. Profile image is set to, uh, goodness, the block element is, what is that, flex? No. That's horrible of me, just a block. Anyway, horrible. Um, profile image is set to be visible. Bio div is set to hidden. Profile image is set to 100 opacity. Bio div is set to zero opacity, all for our initial states. So then just taking a look at the bio div specifically, that's going to become visible in whatever setup you have. It'll be visible. And the bio div as well will be 100 opacity, profile image zero opacity, profile image hidden. So you can see how all of these, you know, it's just the opposite down here. And the delays that I have set up are only for the opacities. And I just did it at um, 0.2 seconds with 0.5, you can see my settings as I click through. But that is how the hover on is set. And then off hover, it's only four settings. So it's just reveal or show the profile image. And at the same time, you're going to hide the bio div. And then it's the same for the opacity, zero for the bio div, 100 for the profile image. So it's just returning it to the original setting. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this bio div one more time because if you're testing this right now, it should be working. Again, if it's not, message me or comment or whatever, anything, and I'm happy to help. And then it's a very, very simple interaction when we go over to uh, mobile. So in the same way that I set it up on the collection item, this is now a mouse click tap instead and I have it only being triggered on tablet, phone, and portrait so that nothing gets screwed up on desktop, but down here. So when you set this new mouse click up, and again, just in case, up here, you're going to mouse click tap, yes? Click that, that'll open up this prompt for you. You're gonna create a new animation in here. And the first animation, so the first click, first tap, is gonna look like this. And it's sort of, um, you know, self-explanatory to a certain extent, or intuitive, should I say. The bio div is being hidden, profile image is being shown. Again, bio div hidden, profile image shown. Profile image opacity 100, bio div opacity zero. All of these are set as initial states, which is this trigger here, right down here. Oops, I'm screwing things up now. Whoops, 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 there we go. And then the second set is again, just going to be the opposite. We're hiding the profile image. We're revealing the bio div. We're increasing the opacity to hundred for the bio div. And we are turning a zero opacity for the profile image. It's the same settings as the other. It's just, or as the uh, hover, it's just set for a tap. And then same thing for the hide. It's the exact same situation. So I'll click, you can look at it, pause it if you need to, as I just click through. And it's the same settings as before. So what that results in, and I'm obviously on my computer with a mouse, so when I hover, it's gonna function. But when I show you the tap click, that's how that works. So we've got a CMS collection list populated 
essentially flip box and we can make it a flip box if that's particularly what you want just so nobody's disappointed what are we at 10 minutes so if anyone's freaking out this is not a flip box it's a hover okay yes so what you would do instead is on your mouse hover um you would start playing with instead of the rotation or actually you would set your rotation for both items the same way that we've done it with the hide and show and the opacity you do it for both of them and right now the y would be set to zero and then we could come over here oh sorry i gotta trigger the profile image so change target and i drop it on the profile image and then the same thing in here, we'll do a rotation and that's targeted the profile image already at 180. So you can watch how it functions. And this is just stupid of me to even be talking about this stuff. Like you actually have to go in and create it, which I'm not gonna do right now. Um, sorry. So I love you, but hopefully somebody sees this. And honestly, more, more importantly, it's like if you need a resource to reach out to, to help and to offer some insight, send it to me. Um, I've done a lot of different Webflow interactions. I've created a lot of custom, no code, um, you know, functionality. And I try to post about it on Webflow uh, forums and blogs as much as I can, but Hopefully somebody finds this and I'll try to continue to making or continue to make videos and hopefully the quality will improve and I'll figure out what I'm doing. But if there's one person that was helped by this, then I'm glad that I made it. So um, good luck out there. Um, you know, whatever. I'll think of some clever sign off for next time, but good luck.